Okay folks, here we are out on the lawn. Uh, this video is going to be about testing for chinch bugs. Uh, you can see way over there by the tree line, uh, it's pretty green and lush, right? And I've got the irrigation going, so there's no way uh, this is all due to just being dry. Um, so I've been looking around a little bit, and it sounds like it might be uh, what's called chinch bugs. So we're going to go ahead and test for those. I got my uh, trusty... Got my trusty uh, coffee can here, okay? I uh, went all the way through, I cut out, cut out the edges uh, with some tin snips, so make sure that uh, when you, you know, if you do that, you know, it's pretty sharp, as you can see, it's pretty jagged. Um, but that's all it is, you need a coffee can, basically. That's why I'm wearing gloves. Um, but you need a coffee can so you can uh, do what we're about to do with the lawn. So we're gonna take a quick break, I'm gonna find a good spot and uh, show you what to do next. Okay, so here's what we got. I found a spot right here where you can see the grass is pretty much dead. And then it starts to kind of get more green over here. And I sort of went halfway in between. There's still some green grass, but also some dead grass. So we're going to check to see if they're active here or not. Let's set this up. And so we get this guy going. I push him in a little bit, as deep as I can go. This is obviously the smooth side. The other side is the um, jagged side and so we're just going to fill this up with some water okay you can come down here careful not to hit the edges too much and the idea is is that the chinch bugs will float to the top if there's any in there. I'm just looking now. Give me a peek. But that's it. I'm going to keep filling this up for a little while and see if they kind of float to the top and mix it around like that. And uh, we'll see what happens. So stay tuned. Okay, so here we are at the third spot. You can see how small those things are, right? If I zoom in, there he is. So there's one right there. I thought I saw a second one in here too. Let me see if I can find him. It's this guy we just saw. But that's kind of what you're looking for, with the cinch bugs. I know I saw another one. He might have crawled up on the side a little bit. Let's fill it up with some more water. Not too much. I saw two in there. Then I grabbed the camera. And I lost one. But that's kind of what you're looking for. And you kind of have to look around, right? Because there's a lot of debris in here. There's one right there. There he is, same right there. So yeah, so that's what you need to do there. The other thing I did, so that's one, two. You're expected to have some of them. I did move away from where I was originally um, into an area that's a little more green. I'm going to try one more spot that's a little more green just to see how far they're spreading. Uh, but I think I found two in there, and I think the threshold is supposed to be three. Oh, there's another one over there. Anyways, you can sit here and look at bugs in a can all day. But um, that's basically how you do it. And the other thing I did was, um, off camera, was actually cut the whole edge off. Let's see if I can focus up here. So now it's a really sharp edge. Not just that jagged edge I had before, right? You can see how they roll it over right here. Now, if you just cut on the inside, um, that'll leave that jagged edge I have. And now what I did is I cut straight across here, okay? Uh, and cut this whole rolled piece off, right off the top, right? Um, with the tin snips. And I'll leave a link in the description below those tin snips. And then, uh, and then you have this nice sharp edge, even though it looks like a 
bent a little bit there, but it's a nice sharp edge for actually like putting it down and twisting around and digging it in there deep. Uh, Cause I think actually the first couple I did, maybe that was part of the problem is I didn't get deep enough. Uh, but anyways, that's how you test for your cinch bugs. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comment section below. And I'm going to try and update the description with a uh, possible treatment and uh, we'll see how that works. Thanks.